Hey guys, it's Firefly Kiri, and we are picking up exactly where we left off. Let's go talk to Clem. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what. When we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think so, Claire. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? God. Kenny, honey. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Okay. Let's go help with the medicine, shall we? We're good shots. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. It'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Not working. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. Uh, what's this? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? 
Well, we're no That's better right. than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Let's see if maybe the copier... What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. <laughs> <laughs> No tape inside. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. <sighs> I don't want to go out there. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Already cleaned out. Looks pretty sturdy. No way we're gonna force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. All right. I guess I gotta go back to the alleyway. Just walk past the walkers.
I took care of that. This might be just what we need. And what's this? It looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. Yep. We got two extra tapes now, so. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. No. No. Holy crap. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. <laughs> We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. So Molly used to be a part of Crawford and 
she was screwing the doctor in order to get medicine for her sister. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place and their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got her. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Where are those walkers? Jesus! Man. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, then? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit! Go Molly! Lee! Shoot this fucker! Thanks. It wasn't me! That's a pulling kid, nice shot. Thanks. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's 
not the time. Focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got a both fucking killed! Kenny, listen to me. You can whoop his skinny little ass later, but right now we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. That means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! <laughs> Oh, crap. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Lee, look. Alright, we're gonna have to try that again. Alright, so... Get out of my way. I gotta get back to my girl. Come on! It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? 
Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Come on, let's go! He put Clem in danger too many times. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Uh, hey. <laughs> Back already? We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Uh, yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, Cap, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. Oh, man. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. 
She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. But you ought to do it right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take it. Your hands off me. Probably shouldn't tow them off. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. Sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hmm. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Graham, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Graham, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Claire, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Remember, be good, stay safe, but always have fun. Bye.